is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. The darkest dungeon. Reginald! Oh my life, Reginald! God, God, this game, I... Oh my... Why? Why? No, don't throw him into the pot. Oh, th this game! What can be said about this game? It made me laugh and made me cry. Mostly cry. I cursed the developers, proverbially beat my chest, and howled to the heavens themselves, cursing the day I was born. I know it was a mistake, Mom, but really? Did you have to nurture me, teach me values such as hope, just to have them shattered into pieces by Red Hook developers? This game, oh my life, this game. It was the most enjoyable torture I've experienced in a good while. What do I mean? Dare you ask? Shall we hold hands and learn futility together? Yes, and only for the very reasonable price of $24.99 on Steam. So Darkest Dungeon is a roguelike dungeon crawl RPG. Uh, for turn-based RPGs, I think that it, this is one of my favorite that I've ever played. Um, the story, it's excellent. Uh, it's gothic, it has superb narration, excellent writing and captivating bosses. Uh, the storyline and writing in this game is above average, especially the writing. Without spoilers, you pretty much play the caretaker of your family's land holdings. You invite wandering travelers, adventurers, to come to your town, gear up, and delve into the darkness of your family's past. The character concepts are gritty, unique, and each area that you venture into has a feel to it. So whether you're going into the wheel to battle mushroom people or heading into the catacombs to duke it out with the undead, um, um, each area has its own unique feel and, and that's one of the things that I really like, that they stay true to each area and story. Um, the bosses, they're probably my favorite part of the story though. Uh, backstory on each of them is phenomenal and the concept of each one of them, especially in-game play, is, is phenomenal and fantastic. When you fight them though, you will hate your life. It's like the developers were like, hey, I think this boss should throw you and one of your characters into a cooking pot and you take damage every round until someone breaks the pot. Or, hey, I have a great idea. Let's make a boss that steals one of your characters to fight against you. That's a great idea. That won't make anyone upset. So the soundtrack and narration, uh, the voice actors for this game, it's my favorite element of the game. It's a must have for the game. You do not want to play music when you play this game. Uh, you want to have the narration on. You want to have the music on. It's gritty, it's dark, it, it gets you in the mood. Uh, it, and it really, really promotes and elevates the experience that you have on those levels. So, and as for gameplay, uh, it's a standard turn-based strategy RPG, so please listen to me when I say this. Listen, if you do not like turn-based strategy RPGs, then you will not like this game. It is a game that takes patience. It is a game that uh, is a grind. It's not something that you can just end in a couple of days. It takes hours and hours to get uh, where you want to get. And I think that was the developer's whole reason and purpose for making it the way that it is. They want it to be a grind. They want you to hate your life. They want you to hate them. They want... I guess overall to make you a miserable person. It's a misery that you can enjoy though. Uh, the game mechanics are very fluid. Everything is easily explained. Everything uh, can be easily like uh, identified. Um, there's nothing overly complicated or convoluted about it. Uh, it's fantastic elements make it easy for you to get a hold and grasp of the game very quickly. I remember when I first started it, uh, I didn't really notice how the game overall would be, but I understood what my characters could do and how to level them and, and how to upgrade things and get gear and whatnot. So it's important to realize and know though that the characters are the least important part of the game. They are meant to die. They are meant to contract syphilis, get angry at each other, and stress the fuck out until they have heart attacks and die on you. If you leave the dungeon with one person, that is a success. Good job. Way to go. 
I think whenever I was getting ready to buy the game uh, and I was reading reviews that people had written on Steam, the one thing that came across and caught my eye was uh, a review that someone did where they said it's important to realize that the town is the, is the main character in the story. And that's right. You focus on the town. You want to upgrade it. You want to uh, make it more affordable to cure your characters that make it alive out of the dungeon of the rare and horrible and debilitating and confusing and stressful and just oh my i can't even put to words the horrible things that they come back with but apparently there's a room at the sanitarium that fixes all the problems for a modest fee of i don't know four thousand gold and you only come back with six thousand thank you red hook that makes a ton of sense but bottom line, the replayability on this game is excellent. I mean, so when we play games or when I play games, the ones that I remember are the ones that make me feel something. This game, oh, it made me feel something, all right? Deep down in my plums. This game, well, I guess it made me feel accomplished that I got able to do veteran level missions uh so the replayability you're going to keep coming back to this game you're going to keep having fun experiences you're going to laugh at what horrible things happen to your characters and you're going to enjoy it because uh the narration will keep you there uh so the customer base for this game uh masochists <laughs> good humored people rpg lovers it's really a must buy for anyone that likes any roguelike experience um if you enjoy being tied up and beaten this is the game for you if you enjoy i don't know having someone steal your lunch money uh then this would be great for you a good fit so my overall rating of this game is 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. And that's my overall rating. Now if you just like roguelikes, you, this is a must buy. You have to have this game. I would give it a 10 uh, just straight out the gate if you like roguelike and that's all that you want to play. So as with all things, there always is criticism and things that I didn't like. Uh, the things that I didn't like, I really didn't even notice in this game. So yeah, the story arc could have been a little bit more involved and, and deeper, but I didn't notice it because of the narration. Um, it was difficult to start in love, mainly because I didn't understand the purpose of it. And that was a joke uh, by Red Hook to make you hate like the game a little bit uh, most games are meant for you to succeed this one is not meant for you to succeed it's meant for you to lose over and over again uh, it's not for the easily discouraged you need some patience so finally i have a request to red hook uh, make a steampunk version of this game i want goggles i want to run around in leathers and i want to die and feel hopelessness in that kind of element um, as always guys thanks for listening to the review follow us on twitch uh, subscribe to our youtube channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment below uh, if you have any games that you want us to review just let us know okay bye